In today's episode, we are going to do a crab clean and cook. And guess who's going to get their finger caught in a crab's claw? Stay tuned. Please consider supporting our channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell icon. Hi, my name is Hardy Rupan and I am the man in the wild. And today we're going to do something special. We're going to cook some crab. Stay tuned. Last night, my friend Mr. Neil Sukram from the YouTube channel Southwest Adventures invited me to cut some crabs with him in the carcass. This is my portion of the catch. If you would like to experience what it is like to catch crabs in the mangrove, check out my YouTube video, Ikakas Crab Run. I will leave a link in the description. Catching these crabs are quite dangerous. They have a powerful pinch, so you have to watch out for that. best to pin them to one side of the bin so you can catch them. This, this is a blue crab. This is a blue crab. It is a land crab. It usually lives on the dry land, burrowing in the dirt or the sand, whereas the purple mangrove crab lives in the mud within the mangrove roots. So these usually live submerged in water, where these would live on dry land. But they are both land crabs, and they are both found in Trinidad. Next to this purple mangrove crab is an albino blue crab. It is the same species as the blue crab, but its color is white. These can give you a very nasty pinch. You have to be careful when handling them. You have to try and secure the claws as best as possible so you don't get pinched. And this is how you remove the back from the crab, killing it almost instantly. You do have to be careful the claw doesn't get you. Even after you remove the back, the muscle movement will still allow the claw to nip you very painfully. The knife is there for safety. If I get accidentally pinched by a claw, I can place it in between the claw and twist. This will help me to open the claw much easier. If the crab has a single claw, like this one, then the process is not too complicated, but you do still have to be cautious. The process becomes complicated when you are trying to catch a crab with two claws in a tub full of other crabs. This is downright dangerous, but I have had the experience of handling crab since I was four years old. But even with years of experience, I still do get caught with those claws from time to time. Are you willing to place your hands in a tub of crab like this to get some crab to eat? Let me know in the comments below. I would really love to hear what you have to say. Wow, he almost got me there. 
If you are enjoying this video, be sure to click that like button and don't forget to subscribe and even leave a comment. Wow, he got me. Let's take a closer look at that. And in slow-mo. He did break the surface of the skin. These smaller meals will be used in a special dish that we are going to prepare today. Stay tuned for this. Let's take a little look at a clip from the mangrove we caught these crabs. Okay, so this is what um, second lagoon. Yeah. Wow. Tide pushing boy. Whoa. It's so clean water. It's actually, you could go and be in there. <laughs> That's why you swam so full. It is now time to clean the crabs. We start by using a knife and scraping the hair off the legs. We only scrape the hair of the upper part of the legs. As the lower parts of the legs contain less crab meat, we do not use those parts of the leg. Once you have completed scraping the hair of the legs, you can proceed to remove the gender pouch from under the crab. The crab's mouth is then removed of the front and the gills of both sides of the crab. Finally, the crab's brain and gut is removed from the center. Rinse the crab in some clean water and separate into two halves. Scrub the mud and dirt off the body and legs of the crab. Because we catch and clean a lot of crab, we have a special toothbrush for this purpose. We do not recommend you use your personal toothbrush. Be sure to clean in between all the legs and crevices as these crabs live in the muddy mangroves there can be mud residue in between their legs. This part of the crab is usually referred to as its claw or hands, but in Trinidad, we call it the gundi. The gundi has the most amount of crab meat and is the most delicious part of the crab. Once you have completed scrubbing the crab, you can then cut off the rest of the legs. If you wish to eat the meat from the rest of the legs, you can scrape the hair of this part as well. For some menus, we would separate the legs and claws from the body. But for this recipe, we will be keeping the legs attached to the body with its claws. If you are enjoying this video, be sure to click that like button and don't forget to subscribe and even leave a comment. The crab is now ready for seasoning. 
This is Goldie. She is a two-year-old flower horn and a very loving and affectionate pet. There is a heavy rainstorm. Perfect weather for the meal we are about to cook. It's time to cook. We will start with these ingredients. Onion, pimentos, and garlic. Season the crab with some healthy, homegrown herbal seasoning and allow to marinate. Today we will be making a special recipe called dal crab. Thoroughly wash some split peas, or as we call it in Trinidad, dal. Put some water to boil and add your ingredients. Garlic, pimento and onions. And don't forget to stir it in. Add the split peas. And some turmeric or locally called saffron. Stir in these ingredients. Allow the split peas to boil until soft. Once the split peas has boiled soft, swizzle it until creamy. Add the marinated crab into the split peas broth. Add some sweet corn slices. Be sure to add some okra. It makes it so delicious. One scotch bonnet pepper, one red hot chili pepper, some carrot slices, salt to taste and stir. Add as many dumplings as you need, as many as you need. We added so many dumplings, we had to get a bigger pot. Allow to simmer until the dumplings are cooked and then turn off the heat. Next, we are going to prepare something wonderful to go with this dal crab. Here we have some sliced star fruit or five finger as it's called locally. We are going to make some five finger anchar. We start with a pot with some hot coconut oil. Add in some minced garlic and hot peppers. Stir well and add the star fruit.
stir fry the star fruit. Add salt, sugar, and anchar masala. You can add hot peppers to taste. Allow the star fruit to simmer and anchar will be ready. A hot bowl of dal crab, cold beer on a stormy rainy day. Please consider supporting our channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell icon. Will be almost the entire underneath. Oh, so this is a meal. Yeah, that's a meal. Huh? Okay. You got it? <laughs> yeah. Like you take a dive back in way. Ah, uh, no, I think I'll just follow you all. <laughs>